I'm gonna show you how to play tones and even melodies with your PicoDev buzzer from a Raspberry Pi Pico. We'll get these two connected and get it working. Let's get started. You'll of course need a Raspberry Pi Pico with the pin soldered facing down, a PicoDev buzzer and expansion board for Raspberry Pi Pico, and a PicoDev cable to connect everything together. Before we get started, just make sure both these switches are in the off position. That's the farthest to the left. You can see here that the switches are closest to the numbers, not the on. On the back side, make sure these two pads are unsoldered. This will be how your buzzer arrives from the factory. Plug your Pico into the expansion board, making sure the USB connector is on the same side as the two pin battery connector. Connect the cable and connect your buzzer to the other end. And I've just mounted everything to this PicoDev platform to keep it nice and stable. Connect to your computer with a USB cable. In the download section of the article, find the three files we need to download, right click and save link as. I'm saving these to a PicoDev directory in my documents. We'll be working with Thonny for this tutorial. If you've never programmed a Pico and Thonny before, check out our getting started guide for that. Open Thonny, navigate to where you saved your files and connect to your Pico. Click the first file, hold shift, click the last file, right click and upload to. This will upload all the files to our Pico. And if we open main, we can see what we're about to run. The script is ready to go. So press control D to reboot your Pico and listen for the buzzer. Taking a look at the script, we import the buzzer driver package, and we also import a function to create a delay, sleepms. We initialize our PicoDev buzzer as buzz, and we initialize it with the volume parameter two. That's the loudest setting. Then we call buzz.tone, and this takes up to two arguments. The first is the frequency of the tone in Hertz, and the second is the duration of the tone in milliseconds. So here we create an 800 hertz tone for half a second. We sleep for half a second, and then we create a 400 hertz tone for 500 milliseconds. And this is the low tone that we hear. So we have a high tone and then a low tone. After a longer delay, we change the volume to the quieter setting. We set it to zero, and then we play those same two tones again for the same durations. This time, however, we're passing only the frequency into tone. And in this case, the tone will sound continuously until we call no tone. So by sleeping for 500 milliseconds and calling no tone, we create the same effect as if we had just called buzz tone with both arguments. And again, we create a high tone and a low tone. Let's change these tones. I'll go from say 300 to maybe 600. And we'll do the same again. Now when we run the script, Now we have like an ascending sequence to our tone because we're playing a low tone to a high tone. Return to the article and we'll go to the melodies example now. Copy all of this code and paste it into main. We'll just highlight everything in main and paste over it. And let's give it a run. Clearly this is an example to play a melody. We do our normal imports. Here we're creating a Python dictionary called notes. And this is a definition of name and frequency pairs. So the F note is 349 Hertz in this dictionary. Next, we create a two dimensional list called melody, which is the sequence of notes to play for given durations. So here our first note is an E played for 500 milliseconds. Our third note is C4, played for 500 milliseconds. This rest note is defined as zero hertz, and so that just means play nothing for 500 milliseconds. If you pass tone zero for the frequency, it will play silence. So we have our melody defined as all of these notes and durations. We set up our buzzer as usual, and then we have a for loop where we loop through the melody list, starting at the top, working all the way to the bottom. We extract the note name, we extract the duration, and then we play that note for that duration. So for the first note in the melody, note name is E. And so we access our notes dictionary for the E entry. So we go to our notes dictionary, grab the E entry, and that is 330 Hertz. So this first argument resolves as 330 Hertz, and the duration we extracted is just that 500 milliseconds. 
And so you'll notice there are some different duration notes here. This F, for example, only plays for 250 milliseconds. And that's how we can create that faster beat. There you have it, some useful examples for getting started with the Picadev buzzer. We can play basic notes and we can even play melodies. If you make something cool from these starter projects or if you just have some questions, let us know on the forums. We're full-time makers and here to help. Catch you next time.